How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to do a taste test between different grades of Manuka honey from Comvita. This is 5 plus UMF, 10 plus UMF, and 15 plus UMF. The higher grade it is, the more costly it is. This is the cheapest one. This is the middle most expensive per ounce, and this is the most expensive per ounce. I'd like to thank Comvita for providing two of these bottles, so 5 plus UMF and also the 15 plus UMF, after I made the initial video of this 10 plus UMF, which I bought with my own money. You can kind of lower the cost a little bit by buying a bigger bottle instead of the 8 ounce bottle, you buy the 16 ounce bottle. They have what they call Manuka infused bandages. Apparently there's medicinal properties on it and sometimes at hospitals they just slather some on some wounds. If your wounds doesn't heal, if you put honey on it, somehow it would ward off the bacteria or something and then that would allow your body to heal. I don't know the specifics of it but it does sound believable because this honey stuff it actually lasts a really, really long time, much longer than they say on the bottle. I remember reading on the news, I don't know if it's a hoax or anything, but they found some honey from the Egyptian era, like 2000 years ago, and then it's still edible? I don't know. I've also had personal experiences with the medicinal properties of it, because sometimes if I breathe in some dusty air, I get like an scratchy throat sometimes. So I would just take a spoonful of this, probably like about a teaspoon to one and a half teaspoon or so, and I just eat it and I try to coat the back of my throat with it. And then after a little while, the itchiness subsides. So there's some magical properties to this. Anyway, let's open these up and do a comparison. Here's a five UMF one. Let's open up a brand new bottle. There, even says five UMF. Okay, let's open that. It's slightly solid right now. I guess I can still pour it out if I wait long enough. It's fairly thick. Here's my bottle that's been opened. I've been picking at it. The consistency looks a little bit thicker than the 5 UMF one. It looks like it doesn't pour very well out at all. And here is the 15 one. They even have a 20 plus version. But this is the highest grade I've ever tried. Let's open this up. You got the sticker. It seems like new bottles flows a little bit better. So this is not an artifact of, hey, the higher UMF, the thicker it is. It's not. It's just more concentrated in that Manuka compound goodness. Now I'm gonna begin with the five UMF. Get some of it. Here's the 10 UMF. And here's the 15 UMF. Trying the 5 UMF one. I'd say regular honey, it's not as cloudy. Manuka honey looks like it's kind of cloudy, but then it still flows. Can I smell a special floral thing? Not too much. Tastes really sweet, tastes like honey. You can actually taste the texture that makes it cloudy. It feels like there's some small amounts of crystallization, but it doesn't crystallize the whole thing. Onto the 10 UMF one, but I think I need to cleanse my palate a little bit first. Okay. I don't know if it's just my imagination, but this tastes like more, more florally. And like I said, because I opened it, it looks like it doesn't flow as much. If there is a difference, it's very slight. Let's see if I can smell. The newly opened bottle smells better. I don't know if there's a taste difference or not, but they do say that when you get up to like 18 plus UMF or 20 UMF, it tastes kind of medicinal, they say. So let's check out this 15 plus UMF and see if it does taste medicinal. Wash my palate first. Okay. Doesn't give off a smell too much, not like the five plus UMF, it's weird. Uh, okay, let's give it a taste. It's weird, like it seems like it coats my tongue a little bit more. Oh yeah, there's like a tiny bit of bitterness. I guess that's the herbal or the medicinal property of this. The sweetness is about the same for all of them, but then this one has like a slight bitterness. If you're into buying this to make tea or something because you think it's gonna 
you know, add nice flavors to it. I'd say go for the 10 plus. When you go up to 15, not only that it's more expensive, it starts adding a slight bitter taste to everything that you add it to, like maybe your uh, honey tea or whatever. It's like a very, very faint bitterness aftertaste. It's like in the side of your tongue, I think. If you appreciate the medicinal properties, you might just ignore and go, hey, you know, since it's so good for you, then you're willing to eat it even though it tastes slightly bitter. By the way, it's probably best that whenever you dip something into your honey, you use a brand new spoon that's dry just to not transmit any kind of bacteria into your honey, make it last longer. Yeah, I taste the bitterness again on this lid thing. So thanks for watching. I certainly did not know that if you feel a little spendy and you just try to buy the highest UMF possible because you think it's better for you, well, you're gonna taste that it's tiny, tiny bit bitter. And if you're just eating it for pleasure, you probably would want to go only up to a 10 plus UMF. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys are interested in getting any of these, check out my referral link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching. <music>